Welcome to this guide on installing and getting started with Autodesk Beast. Beast is available as the rest of the middleware at the middleware support webpage www.autodesk.com slash middleware dash support. So you would log in with your customer account and if you're licensed to use Beast, Beast will be available in the download section of this page. You click Downloads, and there you have the Beast package, which is a simple zip archive. So just a simple peek inside of the package shows a, just a few folders with binaries and documentation and stuff like that. So just go ahead and extract this to some location, preferably not my documents or a related folder because of user access restrictions. So in this case we extract to a root folder. So a peek inside here shows the binary directory, all of the tools executables in the Beast SDK for baking, installers for the distribution system, HTML documentation, examples, those are projects, Visual Studio projects, and headers for integrating Beasts along with library files to link against. So Beast comes packaged with a quite extensive documentation. So go ahead and open this with Internet Explorer preferably and search should work as well. So this contains quite good introduction to getting started with Beast. Very easy read actually. It's fully searchable. So it's a very good reference for customers as well as us. So we're going to go ahead and uh, open the projects. So it's about 15 different samples that you can study and uh, copy code when you're integrating. So we'll start up the Ernst sample. Ernst is the interactive lighting tool in the Beast SDK. We're starting up this in release. And it does a camera render. So this is just a rough preview, but quickly shows if your scene has exported correctly or not. So it then pops up the same thing with Ernst. So this is interactively rendered on a cluster of computers. So it's about 12 workstations in the office. So it continuously bakes the light maps of the objects in this level. So we can go and tweak the skylight color. It instantly bakes everything. We're changing the sunlight a bit. It very quickly lets you prototype lighting. So it can either be used as a visualization tool, but also just like this, actually using it as a lighting tool. So just tweaking the skylight a bit more until we get something that we're satisfied with. We can go back inside. Here you can see pretty strong color bleeding from this red wall onto the box. You can see that the shadows aren't very nice because the resolution of this floor tile is pretty low resolution. So we will go ahead and change, increase the light map resolution of this object. So without restarting Ernst, it just rebakes. We can tweak things like that very fast. Increasing the light map resolution of the box as well. 
uh, it doesn't do that much of a difference, so we can try vertex colors instead. So we change to vertex mapping, which looks pretty cool. Okay, so let's keep that. 